guys I am so excited I wanted to be able to get overhead footage of our little hobby farm here and um, I got a drone that's my drone <laughs> Going to that poor dog. <laughs> Hazel, what are they doing to you? <laughs> Did you just stuff a whole wad of paper towel in her ear? It does. It does. <laughs> so, one thing we learned after having our first bloodhound is that their ears get nasty and I'm in a couple of bloodhound Facebook groups and one of the things they um, taught us was that this stuff works great for cleaning their ears it feels good huh see there you go it's nice because you put um, the solution in the ear canal and just let it fill up and then massage it and then you don't wash it out. You just take paper towels and kind of dry it out. And we've already done her ears, what, four times now? Four or five times? There you go, baby. And, um, oh, she farted. <laughs> She's oh, oh, oh. <laughs> she, oh, Hazel. <laughs> She's like, you, you caused it. <laughs> so my little girls in training here, they, they did a good job. See, it wasn't hard, huh? No. It was very easy. You feel so much better. Look at that happy tail. Doesn't that feel good? Doesn't that feel good? Yeah. That feels so good. He's so good. Yeah. Good girl. All right. You can go back to your nap now. I just wanted to show how funny it was. The two girls on top of you. <laughs> I am going to have a ton of snap pea seeds. Oh, look at these guys. Snap peas are almost done. We are the end of July. Um, I need to come out here and pull some of this lettuce for the birds. Um, I'm ready to um, kind of start changing over uh, these beds. So we will see what happens here. Um, we have had rain. I don't know if you can see all the water. Um, it is very wet. And um, I need to get some fresh straw down. And of course, the, the weather is making me feel like doo-doo uh, times 10. Yesterday was a exceedingly bad day. Um, so I did absolutely nothing. And honestly, it was one of those days it was so bad I was actually able to sleep the whole time. Look at these cucumbers. They are finally, like, making some progress here. Hi, guys. Oh, I haven't been out here in a while. I don't see any female flowers yet, so it's still a bunch of males. But um, I've been trying to come out here and um, get it to actually hook to the trellis some. Um, but I haven't been out here in um, probably about three days now. Come on, buddies. You gotta stay in there. Oh, this is my um, first year of my cucumbers um, actually doing well. 
um, I usually struggle with these guys. So this was the sweet spot for them. I started pulling some of the uh, collards and kale and whatnot um, away from the edges so that they got more light um, and water. Those stinky little cucamelons are messing with me. I want them to just take over and start going. And they're not. Dang it. Um, we are still, in spite of the hoops and the um, netting, mesh, hail cloth, um, I'm still getting a lot of damage from um, wildlife. So that kind of sucks. But... I just, I bought the traps. I need to set the traps. But I definitely need to start my next round of lettuces and whatnot also. Holy cow, that was two in there. Oh, I did not want to pull that much up. Anyway, they have greens for today. Hazel, what are you doing? Were you looking for me? Huh? Did you come back from your walk? Hi. Yeah. I see you. Good girl. Um, these carrots. Oh, look at her. She's beautiful. Uh, I, I need to come through and kind of thin some of them down. Um, they are really dense. I'm going to just let some of them go um, for seed for next year. See how they go through the winter. Um, but... This side, I think we're gonna get good sized carrots out of. I pulled one by mistake when I was pulling grasses out and it looked amazing. But uh, this side, they're dinky. So, um, what the heck? Hmm. I thought carrots weren't supposed to seed until their second year. <laughs> um, I'm gonna have to go look that back up. Because both of these, those sure look like flower heads, do they not? Interesting. These guys were the rainbow mixed ones. And I came out here looking to see if I could see any coming above, you know, the surface yet. Because when they're ready, they do that. But I think they're so dense in here that... Um, this was my first year back here doing this and it was kind of still kind of even though I tilled it a little bit um, and fresh dirt it was still kind of compacted so um, I think I'm going to go ahead and thin it out a little bit and give it to the bunnies and the turkeys to uh, chomp on hmm. my second tomato that was there was killed it's gone dang wildlife Oh, um, the kids informed me yesterday that something got into my garden and completely decimated my yellow squash. Um, and Hazel also got in there and did a little bit of damage. So I got to go and see if I can fix that bed up a little bit. Oh, the joys of fighting nature and my dang puppy. <laughs> Oh, baby, you're so beautiful. I love you so much. Look at this. Oh. That, everything still looks surprisingly amazing back here for being the end of July. I've never had lettuce make it that long. Um, it's probably partially to the varieties um, that I planted. Uh, the one out front, for whatever reason, is always bitter. These guys back here, they still taste great. Yeah, they're so sweet. Let me try this one. Oh, that one's good. These guys are getting close. All right, so I decided to go ahead and um, thin these ones out. Um, I didn't thin them out when they first came up because... Uh, I just wanted to see uh, how they would do, and I knew that I would thin them later, and um, if they were showing signs of being crowded, like they are, 
I can pull these and I can still juice these, um, including the tops. And so um, I'm going to go ahead and I'll just keep coming out here uh, every few days or so and thinning it down a little bit more. Uh, and then I'm going to start uh, another bed of carrots uh, in the front yard. So um, see if they do better out there. Um, being in the shaded area, kind of like how this area was, where this only gets the morning light, and then the, the shade from that, that tree back there kind of covers this bed. Um, it's done well, but uh, I want to, you know, keep moving things around and see how things do um, in each spot, and what does better where, and kind of go from there. So there's the big guy I picked the other day by accident. I forgot to take it in. So, yeah. I want to dig this little guy up here um, so that I'm still preparing for the future and the potential of um, moving to acreage. Um, I'm content with where we are, but um, if that door gets opened, I'm going to take it. And I want to be able to take some of the things that I love about this place. No, ma'am. Quit. No, ma'am. Um, some of the things that I love about this place with me. And Virginia Creeper um, is one of them. I want it contained though, so that it's not doing that, <laughs> or it's, you know, put onto something that can support it. That wooden fence is on its way out, and uh, it's tough. When that cre creeper comes in, it puts so much weight on it. So this is the other reason I do videos, because things are beautiful one day, and then the next day, destroyed. So I don't know if this was Hazel's doing or if this is the wild animals that we are battling, but um, my two yellow squash plants and my beautiful zinnia that was in there are all bent to the ground. So I gotta come in here and clean this up a little bit. I'm gonna start harvesting some ground cherries also. I got to eat my first ripe one yesterday. It was fantastic. You're lucky you're so cute. Yeah, you're lucky you're so cute. And this is why I love doing this. Look at that rabbit. She's finally healing from her cuts that were not closing up. And um, she's enjoying her best bunny life. I still don't know if um, what YB caught was because of the stress from Sable or if Sable transferred it because um, Pastorella is supposed to be very contagious in bunnies. Um, and so for now, we are not putting any of them together again so that we can watch more closely. Um, Ryland's eventually going to try and get another bunny here. But uh, yeah, we're going to go so much slower with the introductions um, in the hopes that we don't lose any more. And... Um, I think I may go to just doing separate runs for each one of them. So we'll see what happens. Huh? Sable bun. Hi, Sable bun. Yeah, look at you. Are you happy? He's a big happy bun bun. Hmm? Are you a big happy bun bun? Grr. Look. Look at this. Stupid animals. Every single little squash I had. <sighs> ah. If nothing, all of my years of gardening in this state that has hail, um, I have learned that there's still hope. And even though this animal, whatever it was, got in here, um, Naya said that it had to have been squirrel or skunk in this one because Hazel got into that bed over there. So um, there's still hope. And so I'm going to just uh, let this little guy keep his few leaves, both of these guys. Um, and we're going to lock it better at the bottom. We're going to set the trap today um, in hopes of catching him tonight because um, I'm tired of, of fighting him already. I have not been able to get nearly as many squash this year because the stupid thing keeps coming in here. Mostly going after my pink bananas. Um, so I gotta get in there and chalice those guys up a little bit too. 
So anyway, I pulled some of the um, dead stuff or broken stuff off and uh, I'm just leaving it to sit here in the ground so it can decompose and um, ground cherries can go inside to ripen. Um, they didn't get them quite as badly, but uh, look at all those ground cherries in there. These guys, you want to um, make sure that um, you harvest them when they're on their ground. And then you still don't eat them until they're dry. And, um, and then open it up and you want to make sure that it is yellow inside and not green. Um, they taste horrible when they're green. Yeah, let your ground cherries um, turn brown and golden inside before you eat them. And then they are delicious. Little pineapple goodness. I want to get in here and start seeing if these nasturtiums have started um, setting seeds yet. Oh, let's see, there's one. Oh, that one is ready. I'm going to eat that bad boy. Look at that. <laughs> so yummy. <laughs> I love them so much. They will forever have a place on my farm and homestead. All right, let me clean this guy up a little bit. See if I've got any nasturtium seeds. I harvested my garlic and stuck it over here so that Hazel couldn't eat it. And then, of course, we're getting rain. Ugh, dang it, I can't do it one-handed. Getting rain daily, which is going to ruin them. Uh, I'm going to have to move them over here. I don't think I have a hook still hanging up underneath this house anywhere. We took them all down when we were painting. It is truly a magical sight. Oh my goodness. Look at that kabocha squash up there. Can you see it? Oh, I'm going to have to come back and tackle this later on. But, oh my goodness. Everything is just so alive. I've probably got a mountain of zucchinis in there. Black-eyed Susans are getting huge. So other than trying to get something to protect these fronts here, because these aren't the best gates, um, and the damage that happened in there, everything in these three beds looks amazing. The peppers are struggling. I'm not going to lie. My peppers are struggling. Um, it's probably too much in here. They're not getting enough sun. So um, I don't know. Hazel got in here and she picked one yesterday and that one might have a couple puppy teeth in it too, but there's another one right there I'm trying, but yeah, she, she got in here and kind of wrecked it good. Stinker. Oh, look at those straw flowers. Hi, Tim. Hi, Jack. These Cosmos. Oh, I was telling my husband as I was harvesting the comfrey and the chamomile that I will always have chamomile, borage, ground cherries, and I think I'm going to add cosmos to this. 
I, I love these Dan Cosmos so much. Zinnias are a given. You know, zinnias are fantastic. So, um, yeah, you can't you can't go wrong with zinnias. Stupid dog busted it good. But anyway, yeah, I need to get in here and the tomatoes. The tomatoes are in um, danger, danger mode. <laughs> They're getting too big, too heavy. So I'm going to go work on it a little bit. Um, and then I'm going to have to go inside. I'm getting too hot. I'm going to check Sable's water real quick and um, get her some fresh pellets because they got rained on. And then cool off because, dang, it's hot. Mm -hmm.